Uh, this is from entertainmentnews.com. It says the Mandalorian season three hints the Disney Plus series avoids the Star Wars sequel trilogy's fatal flaw. It says the Mandalorian season three is already in the works, which is kind of funny considering season two hasn't come out yet. After the Mandalorian season one, one performed so well in late 2019, fans were excited about where the show could go next. With season two announced for an October 2020 release, the series appeared to be set, setting a solid pace. Moreover, its production was able to avoid any potential delays caused by the coronavirus pandemic. Star Wars isn't what it once was. Whether you want to blame Disney's purchase of Lucasfilm, the direction of the sequel trilogy, or simply the fact the franchise extended beyond the initial trilogy at all, Star Wars fans seem to have as much hate as love for the galaxy far, far away. In fact, the only recent aspect of the saga that is largely beloved is The Mandalorian. After all, Star Wars, The Rise of Skywalker, proved to be a major disappointment to many fans and critics, and the film's box office performance fell short of expectations too. So by any measure, the big screen side of Star Wars is at a crossroads. But between Star Wars, The Clone Wars, and The Mandalorian, fans have a new hope for the future. The Mandalorian in particular is already managing to sidestep the pitfalls that have plagued the recent Star Wars movie. Here's why. Perhaps more than ever, the Disney Plus series is setting an admirable template for kickstarting a new era of Star Wars. Pedro Pascal at, at the Mandalorian premiere uh, said that, this, that season three is already in the works. After the Mandalorian season one performed so well uh, in, in late 2019, fans were excited about where the show could go next with season two announced. I'm sorry, I think that kind of just went back over. So, so thanks, thanks to Variety, word has arrived that series creator John Favreau and his team are already working on season three. The report claims Favreau has been writing the season, quote, for a while, though it's unclear how far along the scripting process truly is. This could involve breaking the story or actually writing each episode. Moreover, the art department over at The Mandalorian has reportedly begun pre-production work on season three. Likely, characters, environments, props, and even sequences are being conceptualized to prepare for the next stage of production. A universe as expansive as Star Wars requires much more legwork than most series, of course. So th they're saying that, I guess, they think that uh, The Mandalorian Season 3 is, is hopefully going to avoid the divisive nature of the Disney War trilogy, uh, which I definitely have that hope. Um, the reviews that I participated in, we've actually been pretty, pretty uh, impressed with The Mandalorian. I have my issues with it, uh, particularly in the writing. Uh, I, I think that, you know, they could use a little help <laughs> in the writing department. It is, it is very much, uh, for better or worse, Saturday morning cartoon is the best way that I describe it. But overall, I think it's entertaining, and I like the overall story, story arc, and I love Baby Yoda. In fact, I would be fine with the Baby Yoda show. I, I kind of feel like that would be. That'd be fine with me if Baby Yoda just kind of went off on his own and had his own adventures. I don't necessarily need the Mandalorian at this point. I like to, you know, the Mandalorian is a, a complete ripoff of Boba Fett, and I think we should have the real thing. We should have Boba Fett, but you know, we'll see whether that happens or not. But uh, I am looking forward to season two, and uh, it's interesting to see they're already working on season three. Uh, it's kind of interesting to see how a lot of these streaming platforms seem to be doing that, where they're green the, they, they green light a season before they even know what's happening with the last season. We saw that with Star Trek Picard, where Star Trek Picard had season two greenlit, I think before season one even came out. Um, and, and my guess is they can do that because these seasons are so, so short. The Mandalorian was only eight episodes for its first season. Uh, Star Trek Picard was only 10 episodes for its first season. So I guess since two seasons of these shows don't equal one season of a standard television show, which is usually at least 22 to 26 episodes, um, I guess maybe they feel that they can do this. I don't know. I think it's kind of weird because everything I've heard says that these shows are incredibly expensive. So you would think they would want to kind of look and see uh, before they, 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 they went ahead and greenlit the next season. But I guess the, I don't know. It has to have something to do with marketing too, I'm sure. But basically they just like, this is too big to fail. <laughs> we have to go ahead and do this.